Tech in 5. Dive into Python with a fun game. Learn in just 5 minutes. Welcome back to our Pi game adventure. We're now adding a spark of life to our Pac-Man and ghostly friends. In our previous video, we learned to craft Pac-Man and the ghosts using Pi Games drawing functions. In this video, we'll explore the art of animation with Pac-Man's chomping action and the playful antics of our ghosts before diving into the architectural challenge of designing our maze. Adding life to our Pac-Man character involves a bit of clever coding. We start with a simple state change to toggle Pac-Man's mouth open and closed. This is achieved through our toggle under her mouth method, which flips the mouth under open boolean. But how does Pac-Man's mouth actually open and close? This is where angles come into play. Depending on whether its mouth is open or closed, we use different angles for the pie shape that represents the mouth. The real fun begins with changing Pac-Man's direction. Our change underscore direction method uses Python's match statement, similar to a switch case in other languages. It adjusts not only the mouth's angles, but also the eye's position based on the direction Pac-Man is facing. For example, when Pac-Man moves to the right, we set eye offset X and eye offset Y to position the eye correctly on the top of the mouth, and mouth open start angle and mouth open end angle to create the mouth opening to the right. Each direction has its own set of values to ensure that Pac-Man always looks and moves perfectly in the game world. This approach gives us a dynamic character with minimal code, making our Pac-Man come alive on the screen. Transitioning to our ghostly friends in Pi game, let's focus on how they express movement and direction. We achieve this through eye positioning and leg animation. The eyes of our ghosts give us a cue about the direction they're moving. When a ghost moves up, its eyes look upwards, and when it moves down, the eyes shift downwards. This is controlled by adjusting the Y and offset Y positions in our code. Similarly, for left and right movements, we modify X and offset X of both eyes. These changes in eye positioning breathe life into our ghosts, giving them character and direction. Now, Let's talk about those wiggling legs. We create this effect by drawing a series of polygons, representing each leg. When a ghost moves, we slightly shift the bottom points of the legs. A simple toggle in move state alters the shift value, creating an animation effect of the legs wiggling as the ghost moves. These small but clever coding techniques allow us to animate our ghosts with personality. In the world of our Pac-Man game, the maze is the stage where all the action happens. To bring this maze to life in Pi Game, we use a simple yet effective method, a 2D array, where each cell represents a different part of the maze. A value of 0 represents an empty space. A value of 1 marks a wall that defines the pathways of our maze. And a 2 indicates a pellet, those little dots that Pac-Man loves to munch on. To effectively draw the walls of our maze, let's start by simplifying the task. Instead of tackling the entire maze at once, we focus on individual cells. Now, let's zoom in and examine these cells closely. Notice the different shapes these walls take? They're not just simple blocks, but rather intricate polygons, each with its own unique structure. To draw these polygons in Pi Game, we need to determine their vertices, the points that define their shape. In our case, each wall piece can have up to 12 potential points. Our next step is to calculate these points for every cell marked as a wall in our 2D array. In this code snippet, we define 12 cell points as a list of relative coordinates within a cell. For each cell in our maze grid, we check if it's a wall. If so, we calculate the actual coordinates of these points based on the cell's position. Determining the unique shapes of each wall, we select the necessary points and compile them into a list. While drawing, this list will be passed to the polygon method, guiding it to create the varied and distinctive wall structures in our maze. Wrapping up, we've laid the foundation for our Pac-Man game. Join us in the next video where we'll bring Pac-Man and the ghosts to life, letting them navigate our crafted maze. Stay tuned for more videos on Tekken 5.